What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Better Biomed. Today we're gonna do a tool review because that's what a lot of you guys are requesting and I've got a backlog of videos that I'm gonna have to get back to. So let's start it. Tools. And we're gonna start off with a 30 foot retractable test lead set by Maddox. You can find it at Harbor Tool and Freight. It's item number 58024. Let's go ahead and flip it around. I'll show you what it can do. Let's do it. Okay guys, here it is. It comes in a very stout package. Um, so I, I just cut the plastic wool around it to check it out. And it's surprisingly heavy. <laughs> so it's 30 foot of 18 gauge color code. So the interesting thing about this guy is that they pull out from each side. It's not spring loaded, which is probably one of the major benefits to this unit is because spring-loaded items, if anybody's ever had a broken tape measure, you know that that's a failure point and a point for it to rust. This one here is not spring-loaded, which is good. So it's not going to retract until it rips off each of these uh, little gator clips down here. So the other thing that I'm noticing right now is that it is a manual wind unit. You see that? So you wind it up manually. I actually dig that. It says it's 10 amps unwound, 6 amps wound probably because it has no ability to get rid of heat while it's all wound up nice and tight. The only thing I don't really like is that the cables at the midpoint come down here around this and that's where it starts. So normally the wire comes in and it splits off. One goes this way, one goes that way. And they interwind on each other and it all starts from this point. Any tight bends in cable is a point of failure possibly, but it is shielded and it's you know beneath the surface. So not a real issue there. On taking a closer look, it is 18 gauge. It is the, eh, what is it, the poly, um, it's not polyurethane. It's kind of like a vinyl jacketed cables. Not bad. They definitely don't want to wind around each other, you know, like silicone jackets do. That's the problem with all silicone jacketed leads. If you guys have a good meter, you're going to have the silicone leads, which you can see I changed them out on this meter because untangling them is such a bear. You can see these ones here don't even want to tangle around each other. However, the silicone jacketed leads can usually handle higher voltage, etc. So this one here, it's got some pretty stout gator clips and the jaws on the gators actually line up. Okay interesting look at that and I guess the other really good thing is that when they're fully seated the boot entirely encapsulates the gator clip so you don't have to worry about the arky spark of two of these coming in contact with one another since they're gonna be in close proximity anyway now these ones here let's let's take a look at how the cables held onto the gator and it looks like it is crimped and soldered Oop. There we go. So it's crimped and soldered. Good stuff. Manually wound profile is about an inch thick and it's about nine inches in diameter. <laughs> like I said, it's reasonably heavy. Now, why would you use something like this? Now, I'm going to use these for my regulated DC power supply, which is going to be on one side of my shop. And I'm going to hook it up to devices. Sometimes those devices are in the middle of my floor. So this being a 30 foot long test lead set, I can run voltage to certain components to test them out. If you have solenoids, if you have little motors, you gotta be weary of the current. However, if you have little motors and stuff, fans, if you wanna test out a fan or something, connect it to the regulated DC power supply so that you now have current limiting and you can connect it to the component and put it under test. That's the coolest thing. Now you can also use this for testing from one device to the next and also for doing battery backups. So if you have a battery in one machine 
and you hook this in parallel to another machine, you can change out a battery on a board and then put another battery back in and you won't lose your settings, which is a pretty big plus. We've all been there. So the Maddox 30 foot retractable test leads, they actually look like they're made pretty well. You know, obviously it takes two hands to operate it functionally. However, 30 foot, that gives you a lot of options. And that's a good thing. Just be weary of the current limiting and the fact that even they state on the package that the current is actually much smaller when it's fully wound up. So anyway, guys, that's uh, my Maddox SKU 58024 30 foot retractable test lead set. Find it at Harbor Freight. I think is the only place that you can find them right now. And I'll leave a link in the video description down below so you can check them out for yourself. Never know when you're gonna need it, but when you've been in one of those situations when you have to make a jumper cable for whatever reason, to get a unit back up and going or to test out a component, having something like this for 20 to $30 can be a blessing. All right, guys, thanks for watching.